Welcome back guys to another video and today we are going to take a look at two different USB miners. One USB miner is for Bitcoin and the another one is for Litecoin USB mining. So we are going to try and calculate chance to find a block on your own while solo mining. So this will be a lot like playing the lottery and you will see that odds are pretty much almost the same. And solo mining just means that you do not connect to any pool, you just mine by yourself and hope to find a block of 12 and a half bitcoins or litecoin block. So chance will be pretty small, but there is always a chance that you get pretty rich. So the first USB miner we're going to take a look at is this Gecko Science miner. This is for SHA-256 or bitcoin mining and it does 15 plus gigahashes per second. So this is the best USB miner that you can buy, it costs $50 plus shipping and this is uh, probably the cheapest price that you can get them. Now they are pretty expensive compared to the S9 miner because S9 miner does 1000 times more calculations but it only costs $800 all with power supply. So this miner is pretty expensive per gigahash but if you just wanna maybe try and get lucky just to see how mining works, spend $50 and every day hope that you find those 12 and a half bitcoins. So let's see what are the chances that this will happen. So with 15 gigahashes per second and I've entered power consumption over here at 0 watts but they actually spent 1 or 2 watts but that doesn't matter. That won't cost you almost anything in a year or a month or something like that. It will just be a few dollars in a year. So with this USB miner you can make $1.78 per year if you would be uh, mining in a pool. But it wouldn't make any sense for you to mine in pool because for $2 per year it doesn't make any sense to do it and you're just better off mining by yourself and hoping to get those 12 and a half bitcoins. So now let's take a look what are the chances that you will find this block on your own. So I've entered over here 15 gear hashes and everything else the same, bitcoin difficulty and 12 and a half block reward and let's see how many days it will take you. On average it should take you 16 million days to find one block on your own. So 16 million days this is the same as winning the lottery and I will show you the calculations later on and days to generate one bitcoin is 1.3 million but you cannot just generate one bitcoin you can either generate 12 and a half bitcoins or nothing at all when you are mining by yourself. So the chance is 1 in 16 million and every day it might give you a little bit of hope that you will find those 12 and a half bitcoins but most likely it is not going to happen in your lifetime even if you would have some like 100 of those USB miners but it is nice to play with them and just hope every single day that you generate this one block and over here you can see that your chance to win a lottery where you have to guess 7 out of 39 numbers is 1 in 15.3 million so to find one block is the same as winning 7 out of 39 lottery and let's take a look at the another miner and this miner is for Litecoin mining, it does between 3 and 5 mega hashes per second and it costs uh, $70 plus shipping. So we're just going to use 4 mega hashes per second, this is some kind of average that you can expect on that miner and let's see how much you can make. So with 4 mega hashes per second you can make $6.4 per year and this is also nothing, it is not worth uh, for you to mine in any kind of pool, you can only mine solo and hope that you find this Litecoin block. Now let's see what are the chances that you will find this block. So 4000 kilohashes per second which is 4 mega hashes and this is a 25 block reward with the Litecoin difficulty right now. So the chance to find one block is 1.3 million so it will take you on average 1.3 million uh, days to find one Litecoin block. So your chances over here are a lot better than with Bitcoin mining but of course the reward is a lot smaller because 25 Litecoins are worth a lot less than 12 and a half Bitcoins but everything can change in the future. So chances are better with Litecoin mining and then with Bitcoin mining but it depends what kind of luck do you think you have. Maybe you think you are really lucky then just go and buy one Bitcoin miner but if you just want to have a little bit better odds, actually 10 times better odds than with Bitcoin mining then go with a Litecoin miner. But I would still rather go with Bitcoin mining even though my chances are 10 times less to find a block. I would rather have 12 and a half Bitcoins than 25 Litecoins. And if you think that you are not lucky and that there is no way that you are going to win, you can go over here to Powerball site uh, and you can see the chance of you to winning lottery is 1 in 24.9 million. So if you still play lottery 
where your chances are 1 in 25 million, then you should rather be playing just this kind of cryptocurrency lottery where you mine solo with those USB miners and especially because you can just spend once over here as, as you can see $50 or $70 for a Lightning miner and you don't have to spend any money uh, next day or next day after that because you will just spend few dollars per year after that on electricity but you will still have the same chance of winning every single day. So thank you guys for watching this video, let me know what you think about those USB miners and if you actually think that it is worth playing this cryptocurrency lottery where the chances of winning are 1 in few millions. See you soon in another one and bye.